Hello gamers, this is Scorpion BE and I'm going to show you a little comparison with uh, Daytona USA, the Xbox Live version that's based on the arcade and also the Dreamcast version 2001. So I'm starting with the Xbox 360 version. Um, it's based on Daytona USA, the first one. Um, You see that the graphics are much improved, they are, they are upscaled very good and also uh, they have the multiplayer uh, that you have the complete arcade uh, feeling with it because now with the multiplayer you can play online so but I don't think there is anybody you see no sessions were found now because the game, arcade game is uh, quite some time out now. So I'm going to show you the arcade version. Uh, difficulty normal. I'm start with the beginner. Manual. You see it's a complete classic, it's a full HD version of uh, the original one of the arcade. Ah, it has been, uh, been a while that I played it, so... I play like crap now. You see Sonic in the background in the store. You see it's quite a hard game, just like in the arcades, but if you put it on very easy, it's a uh, playable. Um, I will play through with uh, the, the easy difficult, and then you can see that uh, it's much more doable. It's also completely a widescreen, so that's also uh, very good. You see the difference now. <laughs>
you see, if you are uh, managed to drift, you get very far in this game. So it's best to take a manual if you are uh, good in shifting. And then you are uh, the best in drifting. You also can uh, do uh, change your view like in the arcade. It's like this. They call it the VR mode or something. But I like this view the best. See a perfect drifting and uh, So the game is over, but it's only the beginner. Um, you also can uh, play. Uh, you also uh, can watch leaderboards. Uh, you have achievements now. You have extra with the uh, challenges. Uh, that you can, uh, you must do some uh, challenges like reach a goal within the time limit, uh, hit 315 kilometers an hour uh, within the time limit and stuff like that. Uh, you also have karaoke, uh, karaoke. it's uh, the same, you only have to drive and sing together, it's in a karaoke mode, uh, you have time trial and you have survival. So uh, Now I'm going to show you uh, the Dreamcast version. So, and then heeft a heel leuke Kelly ons opgepikt. Just a little uh, comparison that I'm going to show you. Uh, the Dreamcast version is uh, actually an improved version of the original one. Uh, but it's not better than Daytona USA 2, in my opinion. <clears throat> you see, uh, also on the VMU, it's not a difference, it's only Daytona USA. So, you have single race, you have championship, you can, you can do a complete championship with that. Um, 
single race is based on the arcade, and then you have time attack and you have versus mode, uh, records and replay. If you go to the home page, uh, it isn't possible anymore, I think. It was also only a uh, leaderboard, so the game had online functions for uh, all kinds of countries. So, but I'm going to show you the single race. You can also com you can um, uh, choose more cars if you want. Now you have Hornet, Grasshopper, uh, Falcon, Lightning, and also you um, you can change the color now, like right, like um, the manual car in the first one, blue and stuff. Uh, manual or automatic, and then the tires for better grip. You can. Uh, take wire tires for better grip or small tires uh, or hard tires for a faster driving but less grip. So I'm going to take soft and uh, I'm going to show you. Race start. So I'm going to show you a little of the race. Uh, it plays exactly the same, so what you see the graphics are improved in the original one. But I have to need a, an HGME cable for my green class to the VGA box or something. The weakest point of that game is uh, that the controls are uh, not as good as the original one. Even with the soft tires and stuff. You can select more laps if you want to. So, gamers, this is Daytona USA for Dreamcast. Game on and see you next time.